guys, what's up? It's Sam from Canadian Gaming back again with another video. And um basically this video is gonna be a um <clears throat> it's gonna be a servo upgrade um to this servo right here. Um getting rid of this old Dromeda one. It's broken and I'll you know kind of show you more about that in a second. But yeah, we're gonna be upgrading to this in this video. So this should be good. It's a much higher quality servo. And then also, um, these gears right here, the pinion, focus real quick, the pinion and um, the spur gear, those have been upgraded to uh, steel, so those are both steel gears. Um, I am running this car in 3S now, let me pick this up real quick, I'm running this on 3S LiPo now, 50C discharge rate, um, let's see. 2C charge rate, but yeah, it's a 3S LiPo. I had these gears right here on it. Let me grab them real quick. So I had this gear. This is the Dromeda Upgrade series gear. It's a aluminum spur gear. It was good for 2S. I didn't have any problems with it. Um, My gear mesh was very good, and it held up, but 3S, even with good gear mesh, it just destroyed it, so like, as you can see, I mean, it just ripped it apart, really. So, that's that. And then the pinion is brass. That didn't hold up at all, either. Oh, that didn't hold up at all. It held up on 2S, LiPo. But 3S, you can see, it's just, it just ripped them up. Bent them, I mean, like, all over the place. So, yeah, you can really see how bent it got but yeah it's pretty bad um so i've upgraded both of those gears they're both steel now um if you guys were wondering where i got them and what <clears throat> steel gears they are they're hot racing 118th scale spur and pinion gears um the pinion gear uh, it's a little bit unique. It's got, it's very small. It's a um two millimeter drive shaft, and usually they're around like three millimeter above, even on one eighteen scale. So it was kind of hard. It took me a while to um find the two mil two millimeter in spear uh in steel. So that was kind of hard, but I ended up finding it. So I'm gonna try to post the links in the description box below because I don't I want you guys to have an easier time finding yours than I did. That's why I'm making this video. Um, to save you guys a trouble. And so yeah, I'm just gonna start by um um taking out this servo right here and uh putting in this one. And I was going to make a video, you know, when I um installing installing these right here. But I mean honestly like the thing is is it, it's just it there's no point. I mean, you guys know how to put in spur and pinion gears. It's very simple. But the whole servo thing, that can be a little confusing because this is not the stock Dromeda. In fact, I'm not in, I'm not even sure if this will work. Hopefully it will. But in order for this to work, it's also got like, it's got a bigger, um, I don't exactly know, but like this thing right here, this little metal thing, that's bigger than the one on the stock Dromeda. So... I have to get this piece right here, and I'm hoping that this piece will fit around that other metal piece. So if it does, that's that's great, because I really don't want to have to return this and get another Dromeda one. But anyways, yeah, so, alright, let's get started. Okay guys, so we've got our new Savox servo right here. I'm going to set that aside for now. And, um... Yeah, so now I'm going to get started um, unscrewing those two screws right there. Because that's what holds in the servo in here. So I'll come back when I've unscrewed those. Okay, guys. So um, I've unscrewed the servo off of the thing, off of like the mount or whatever. Or actually not. I haven't unscrewed off the mount, but... Oh, I just unscrewed the mount basically out of the car, and it looks like there's quite a bit of like oil down here, just so you know. Um, so I'm gonna go in and 
wipe that out. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. Um, I haven't cleaned this guy in a while, but yeah. So, anyways, so as you can see now, we have this is the servo and it's on the servo mount. So there's two. So here, let me see if I can get a good shot of this. There's a screw right here. Screw right here. I want to take those out and save those screws because I don't think. Well, let's see. Actually, yeah, it looks like this comes with them, but I'm just going to use the ones already there, just in case. Who knows? I don't know. So anyways, you're going to um, just unscrew these. But yeah, okay, so let's see. Pop that one out. Pop that one out. So now, we should be able to take our little servo off. Okay, and here's our servo mount. Put that to the side. And here's this servo. Broken, it's bad servo. I mean, it lasted me a long time. I wouldn't say it's a bad servo because it did last me a while. I've had this car for about, I don't know, like a year now. I'm just now changing it, but it's nothing compared to the servo that's hopefully going to be installed. Um, so, yeah, now I have to untwine all of this and Basically, then I'm going to be starting to um, mount the new one on. This one right here, the Savox Servo. So, I'll be back once I have untwined all this and twined the new Savox Servo in, basically. Okay, guys. So, we're back here at my workbench. And, um, we've come across a little roadblock. So, basically, that hole right there, <laughs> it's actually quite a bit bigger than the um, motor mount holes on the stock Dromeda one uh, Dromeda servo so basically I'm going to have to screw those in I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right over those holes and um, yeah that's about it it should hold it really good I'm not worried about it you know coming undone from the servo mount but I'm just gonna put some hot glue there and just kind of push that on so now I'm just waiting for that glue gun to heat up so yeah okay guys so as you can see we got this mounted now um, with the hot glue this is on really good so I don't expect this to come undone anytime so we got past that little roadblock yeah that's on tight so now we're going to um, bring the car back here and we're going to be putting this back in there so once I've done that um, with just two little screws, I'll come back to you guys. Okay guys, so I just realized that I made another mistake. This actually has to be mounted like this. This kind of has to like squeeze through there and mount on like so. Yeah, I screwed that up. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and hot glue that again. Just so you guys know. <laughs> These are, this is why I'm making this video, so you guys don't have to mess up and make all the mistakes I'm making. So yeah, I'm going to go back and re-hot glue this, and then I'll come back. Okay guys, so we've come across a couple roadblocks, but it hasn't stopped me. Um, so I just finished uh, mounting in the Savox Servo. It mounted great. The screws just went right back in, in the exact spots where it's supposed to. Um, it looks really good. I it it looks great. It looks it's cool looking. Um, as you can see, yeah, the little bit of hot glue in there. That should that's on extremely tight. That this thing is not coming out of here. Don't worry about that. Um, so now I just have to install this piece right here, which is just kind of gonna like go on. Just just gonna go on like that. But I have to um. Let me find it real quick. This piece over here. I'm gonna change this. This piece is gonna go on there. It's a little bit bigger. So hopefully that'll work. I'll try that out. And um, once I get this installed, I'll come back to you guys. Okay, guys. So as you can see, that installed great. It's a tight fit. Um, that one piece fit on the metal little like gear thing on the um, Savox servo. Perfect. It just fit amazing. So I got all that put on, and now I'm going to twine the ESC and the new Savox servo wire together and put them into the um, receiver, or, yeah, the
the receiver. So yeah, I'm going to put all those together and then once I do that, I'll come back and I'll sh um, test this with you guys. Okay guys, so I, as you can see, I twine these together and put them in their respected um, spots um, in the receiver. Um, popped in the battery real quick and we're going to turn this on and see if the servo works correctly. Also, I just wanted to um, note one thing. On the controller, the trim is a little bit off. Make sure when you're turning this on, make sure that this trim is lined up perfectly. Um, that will give you the most accurate starting point. So that looks pretty good. I mean, whoopsies. That looks pretty good. So, yeah, now we're going to turn that on. Turn this on, and then look at that. As you can see, the servo went straight up. The trim looks perfect. Um, now let's see. So yeah, it, it looks good. It might be backwards. I'm not sure. I'll figure that. I'll just have to switch the receiver or whatever. But anyways, yeah. So it's working. So um, now I'm gonna just kind of pop the little thing on and we'll go from there okay guys so i got this installed um i've already tested it but i'll show you guys now um it works great as you can see it it really looks nice it just looks nice it looks like a nice servo i mean it just feels so much better than before i mean you can really tell when you get that new sabox servo in there it just feels great so yeah, anyways, everything fit amazing, so I'm really happy about that. I had a couple problems throughout putting it in, but it was worth it because it works, and it works great. So that's about going to do it for this video, guys. Um, you know, like I said, these spur gears, those are steel. I'm running on 3S LiPo. I have the EC3 connectors, high voltage. I mean, this thing is insane. Um... You know, the new Savox servo in it now. This thing is just a beast. There's really nothing else I can do with it. But, yeah, so that's that. I hope that you guys enjoyed. You know, I'm trying to make videos like this just to show, you know, you know to help you guys out. Especially, like, for the gears. Those were extremely hard to find. Um, you know, the, the servo. That stuff is confusing to install, especially when the motor mount doesn't go on there correctly you know you kind of have to improvise like i did and i'm trying to make videos like this just to help you guys along the way um because i wish that there was videos to help me along the way but sadly there isn't so i'm trying to make videos for you guys but anyways yeah so that's um today's video and i hope that you guys enjoyed please leave a, um uh please like comment and subscribe and uh yeah this is canadian gaming this is, this is sam from canadian gaming signing out peace